Hey guys, so I'm back. These need to go. My pinky was lifting. They were getting on my nerves. I haven't changed them in like three days. Yeah. Let's get some coffee. It's early. It's early and I'm in no mood today, guys. No mood at all. We're going to glue some new stiletto tips on. You guys know that when I remove my tips, I just cut them off. I file the shit out of them until there's just a very super, super, super thin layer of product left. And I leave that there to continuously protect my natural nails. It is fine. Trust me. I'm going to go ahead, cleanse, dehydrate, and I'm going to blend the tip a little bit as well with some acetone. I don't need to blend too much. I brought out the pink powder, guys, but guess what? Not even going to use it. I had a total change of mind right in the middle of making this video and taking off my nails that I wanted to do something really classic and, and plain with no diamonds. Can you believe it? Now, that's not to say I'm not going to add some later, guys. Let's not get it twisted, okay? But for now, let's do some ombres. I'm going to go straight down with the white because since I remove my nails so often and I do have that very thin um, layer of product on my nail, it's already protected. So I'm not going all the way to my natural nail with the white or the opaque pink I'm going to put in the back in a second, okay? Just wanted to make that clear. Um, so it's going to be easy for me to remove, in other words. So I'm going to go ahead and lay white, not too thick, because after I put the white, I'm going to go in the back near the cuticle area, and I'm going to put a little bit of my warm, opaque pink, and I'm going to blend it down in the white. Now, when you're doing this sort of ombre, now most of you know, but you always know that there's a, a million people that don't. You want to kind of fade the white up and go up a little high as you can, because so you don't want to see a start and ending point to your your pink that you're going to put back there and your white or whatever other color you choose to use okay I'm just going to go with the opaque pink today and the white so I'm going to put little beads and you want them a little wet because it's easier for the colors to blend together if they're a little wet okay so make sure that you're keeping a nice wet but not runny bead you don't want to chase the bead all over the place all right go thin because you want to encapsulate this with clear. At least that's what I'm going to do. Some people build this up and they don't encapsulate it. But if you're going to, make sure you go a little thinner. So you have plenty of room to work with your clear acrylic to finish it off. Okay? Just make sure you're completely covering the nail. And then work on your apex. Make sure your sidewalls are straight and everything. Now, last minute decision to build a flower in the nail. So I'm going to lay a thin layer of product first. I'm going to put some glitter on it. And then I'm going to do a rose. But I'm going to make it super flat kind of super flat and super thin so I can encapsulate this rose with clear acrylic so it's on the inside. It's a very cool technique. I'm going to go back with my X-Acto knife and just put a little bit of detail in my leaves and then I'm going to go ahead and pull my clear over, okay? But guys, after a top coat and no gems, here's the final look. <laughs> 